Hey everyone, I uh, just want to say thank you for uh, purchasing version 8 of the Azon Empire series. Um, these sites are very powerful and when set up correctly um, and set up uh, completely will um, generate uh, a massive amount of traffic to your site so you're straight to your review pages or to your product pages. Um, so um, they have a specific set of software that all works together um, to bring you that traffic and uh, so um, I, I, I absolutely recommend that you um, set up the uh, sites completely and uh, once you have that set up it's going to run pretty much on autopilot but it's also going to allow you to concentrate on adding your own content so um, so this will be the first video and what we're going to do in this video is um, and you probably already know um, know how to do this if you've purchased uh, some of my other sites but um, in this first video we're going to be uh, um, installing the site um, so let's go ahead and get started and uh, so what I've done is I logged into my cPanel now the only thing that you have to do in your cPanel is install a fresh WordPress you're not going to be messing with the file manager or anything like that um, but so what we're going to do is install a fresh WordPress and when you install your uh, um, when you're at this point you will have already done um, or already decided what site that you're going to install first um, you've already got your domain name or um, you've already got a name for your subdomain so and that would mean that you already have a main domain um, and you are going to install it on a subdomain so um, what we're going to do now is install a fresh WordPress and again if you're installing it on your main domain and in this case my main domain is paxtonproim.com um, but we're not going to install it on that domain um, if you were going to install it on a subdomain, you would come down and create your subdomain right here. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is go down to Fantastico. You can use either Fantastico or Quick Install. That's what's in the HostGator cPanel. I use Fantastico. Um, so you want to go to WordPress. And we're going to do a new installation. And in this case, this right here is where you're going to select the domain or subdomain that you're going to install the site on, okay? Um, and uh, you just uh, want to select it with this little drop-down arrow. But in this case, we're going to install it on a subfolder since it's just a demonstration. And so, But I'm going to call the subfolder version 8 demo. And let's just go ahead and give it a generic uh, admin and uh, password because it's going to be overwritten. We'll just delete that out. Um, in your case, you want to go ahead and put in your admin email. And you want to put in the name of your site. Okay, so let's go ahead and install WordPress. And we're going to click on Finished Installation. And what we're going to do now is navigate to this link. And that will take us to our brand new uh, WordPress installation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log in, and uh, I don't want to remember that because we're, it's going to be overwritten. Now, the first thing you want to do is when you uh, log into your fresh installation of WordPress, um, if it's not already updated, you want to update it to the, la the latest uh, version of WordPress. So you just want to click on the Update Now link. And then you want to click on the blue Update Now. Now, uh, I want to say while we're going through this, um, what I would recommend that you do is when you're watching this video, go ahead and um, have be doing the steps um, along with me. Um, so what you would do is just uh, pause the video at each step and then go do that step and then restart the video. That's what I recommend doing and uh, it will take you kind of through the process. So right now we've updated WordPress. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go and um, go to um, our media library and we're going to go and add new. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload the complete backup of the site. If you're uploading just one file, I could recommend using the browser uploader. So what we're going to do now is browse to the location that we saved the uh, particular site that we're uploading. Um, and it's going to be on our hard drive. Um, and this would be um, the download that you, or the zip file that you 
um, downloaded from your member site. Now, you remember, remember when you download the zip file from the member site, you will need to unzip that folder to get the files you need. So right now, we're going to browse to the, our location. And uh, what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and just pick a site. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the night vision site, night vision camera site. So when you download it from your members area, you're going to have a uh, zip file that says uh, something like unzip me uh, night vision uh, site backup. And you want to unzip that so that you have um, the unzipped folder like this. And then you go inside that folder. Um, you're going to have the complete backup of the site. That's what we're going to upload. Okay. Now we're just going to click on upload. Now at this point, I do want to make a, a quick note. Um, I have seen some um, some people um, with their hosting account um, that it is um, within their HT access files or their their server H within your HT access file on your uh, sites. Um, and this is in your file manager, and if you don't know how to uh, uh, do any of that, you're going to need to contact your hosting company. But if it says right here, it should say 64 megabytes, okay? If it says, uh, you know, anything less than that, um, it's because your hosting uh, account has it set up at um, a different amount, okay? So it should say 64. I've seen some say 4 megabytes, and that's just not going to work. Um, so if it's anything less than that, contact your hosting company and tell them exactly what you're seeing right here and that you need it to be at least 64 megabytes okay so what we're gonna do now is upload this backup into our media library and I'm gonna push uh, pause real quick and then uh, it don't take long but I'm gonna uh, pause the video and then come right back when it's done uploading okay so we've got the uh, file the zip file of the complete backup of the site that we're installing we've got it uploaded to our media library so what we're gonna do is just click on it and we're going to grab the link. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this link and then uh, just copy it to our clipboard for right now. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we got that copy. What we're going to do now is go to plugins. And we're going to click on add new and we're going to upload our installer uh, plugin. So we're going to just upload the WP clone plugin. And go install now. And we're going to activate the plugin. Okay, now once it's activated, we're going to come down here and click on WP clone. And we're going to click on restore from URL and we're going to paste that URL in that we copied. And we're going to check the box that you agree and then we're going to do restore from URL and then click on OK. Now this process usually takes in between uh, 25 seconds and 45 seconds. It don't take that long. Um, so I'm going to pause the video just real quick and uh, let that install. And uh, actually it's already almost done. So let's go ahead and let that uh, let that uh, install and uh, we will keep the uh, video rolling and uh, here in just a minute I'm going to make a note um, and just uh, let you guys know about something um, real quick on the we go back and look at our sites on the action um, superstore on the superstore for your action adventure superstore uh, site um, inside the folder, you're going to have a folder that says Action Adventure Superstore Install URL. Okay. Now, for the Superstore, all you're going to do is um, install a fresh WordPress and install the WP Clone plugin. You're not going to be uploading a complete backup of the store um, because it was so large. Um, so, all you're going to do is upload the WP Clone plugin. And then you're going to grab this URL that I give you and copy it and paste it into the WP clone install. Okay, and that's just for the store.
Okay, so our restore install is successful. It's completed. It took about uh, 35 seconds. And uh, so what we're going to do is click on um, here to resave our permalinks. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, log us out, and then we're going to have to log back in with the credentials that I give you. So now we're going to log back in. And if we go back and take a look, this is the GPS site. Um, didn't put it in there, um, but I do include your um, admin uh, login, okay? So we're just going to do that. And we're going to log back in. And once we log back in, we're um, going to resave our permalink. So the first thing you do is just scroll down and click on Save Changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our site just to make sure that it's installed. And there we go, our site is installed and everything is there. Okay, so let's just pause this video. So um, that's going to uh, uh, take care of the installation um, on your version 8 sites. Um, so in the next video, we will continue where we left off and uh, go ahead and go through your site and, uh, um, and show you the different uh, aspects of it and uh, how to use it. Um, so we will uh, stop the video here and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.